Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm back here at Sioka Chevrolet of Princeton to check out this brand new 2023 Chevy Blazer RS all-wheel drive in iridescent pearl tri-coat paint with jet black interior with red accents. Can't wait to dig into this one, see what it's bringing to this highly competitive SUV market. So let's dig in. All right, the front end of this Blazer RS iridescent pearl tri-coat, or white, but it's a deeper white, looking good. LED lighting up front with the daytime running lamps, turn signals, and headlights. Black on the grill, blacked out Chevy bow tie, RS badge on the right in red, functionality top and bottom. Really good looking front end on this Blazer RS. Love how these RS accents give it a much more sporty look. All right, the wheel and tire package on this Blazer RS. We have a 21 inch wheel, gloss black, silver accents, blacked out Chevy bow tie on the center cap. Looking good, standard brake and rotor package. These 21 inch wheels are wrapped in Continental cross contact all season tires, 265 on the width, a 45 series sidewall 21s, all four corners, all wheel drive. All right, the full side profile on the Blazer. Love the white with the two-tone black. I think it looks great. We have a gloss black roof with painted gloss black around the wheel wells and along the door sills. The black Blazer call out on the door looks really good. I love a good white and black. And this iridescent pearl tri-coat, it's white. And I don't know the camera picks it up, but it has a very deep pearlescent in it to really give it a deeper, deeper, deeper uh, flavor of white when you take a look at it. I think it looks really cool. All right, moving on closer. You can see we have the painted gloss black against the white. Side view mirrors are color matched with LED turn signals and 360 degree cameras. There's your blazer call out right there looking good. Color matched on the front and rear door handle, a left side fuel filler cap. Up top, we do have the black roof with matching gloss black side uh, roof rails, shark fin antenna, and a panoramic roof. All right, the rear end of the Blazer, you got the roof spoiler coming off the top. You do have a flat black rear wiper down below on the glass, the blacked out Chevy bow tie in the middle, LED lighting in the back, including turn signals, the Blazer all-wheel drive call out on the left, the red RS on the right, and then we have gloss black on the lower bumper area and rear diffuser with functional dual exhaust. All right, we're under the hood of this 2023 Chevy Blazer RS all-wheel drive. And what do we have for a power plant? We have a 3.6 liter naturally aspirated V6 engine mated to a nine speed automatic transmission, 308 horsepower, 270 pound-feet of torque, MPG's 19 in the city, 26 on the highway, 21 combined. The engine's minimum octane rating is 87, so you can run this on regular unleaded gas. All right, before we get into the interior of this Blazer RS, you're going to want to know, Mike, like in the looks of this, how much does it cost? Well, this Blazer RS is not cheap. So, base price for the Blazer RS before options is 45700 This vehicle has $5,615 in options, so let's list them off. We have to add in an additional $1,595 for that power panoramic roof. We have to add in an additional $1,375 for the Driver Confidence 2 package, which is, includes the rear camera mirror with washer, the safety alert seat, adaptive cruise control, enhanced automatic emergency braking, HD surround vision. We then have to add in an additional 1100 for those 21 inch high gloss black aluminum wheels, then an additional 995 for the iridescent pearl tri-coat paint, additional 550 for the black two-tone roof. Then we have to add in an additional $1,395 for destination and delivery from Chevrolet's Mexico assembly plant. And we have a total vehicle MSRP 
from the factory of $52,710. Let's check out the interior. All right, starting with the foot box, a nice large dead pedal brake and accelerator. Would have been light, light, nice to see these in aluminum finish considering we've got the RS package. Let me know what you guys think. All season floor mats are in the car right now. We have a nice door sill plate in silver that says Chevrolet welcomes you to the car. Seating, we have eight-way power seats for the driver and six-way power seat for the front passenger. Then we have this nice jet black interior with red stitching, with red insert, nice and soft on the headrest, nice bolstering, really nice looking interior. Door panels, we have soft touch up top, some gloss black plastic around the uh, chrome door handle. We now do have a nice soft armrest with stitching, flat black on the switch gear, looking good. And then we have the upgraded Bose sound system right down there, and you got a speaker for it right there. Up top, more soft touch with the stitching, chrome trim, more stitching, and then glove box, just you hit the button right there, and down comes a nice large glove box. Infotainment screen, we have a 10.2 inch. Chevrolet infotainment screen, look at that beautiful response to pinch the zoom. We have wireless Apple CarPlay, wireless Android Auto. You can go to your home button, you got your audio, you got your Wi Fi hotspot. There's your CarPlay and Android Auto. You can Bluetooth your phone. You can set your climate control settings from here as well. Dual climate control action, which is nice. You can sync them together so they're all the same. So that's a nice touch. You can do that here, or you can do that below with the hard controls. So I like the redundancy that they have in place for that. We can go back to home, and then we can swipe across if we want to see other menus as well, which is a nice touch. And then we can hit reverse, get that backup camera going, not beautifully clear with trajectory and the 360. And the other thing that it's nice is right now I'm a bit, I'm a bit close to that pillar behind me, and you saw that triangle flashing. That means I'm too close, don't back up. And when I had the triangle flashing, I actually had my seat, driver's seat, vibrating to tell me to stop the car. So that's a nice touch. Go back to park. Now we're back here to the screen, but a really nice infotainment system. GM is one of the best when it comes to these. Here's your uh, button to turn the car on and off way up here. Here's your engine auto stop start on off. We're going to leave that off and our four way hazards. Here's our volume controls right here and uh, for your music. And then as we come down, oh, excuse me, over here besides the glove box, you got your track control off down below. You have your hard controls for your dual climate, which is nice. And then you got three stage heated seats for the driver and three stage heated seats for the front passenger. Down further, really like these air and heat vents with the red to bring that RS vibe into the interior of the car. Then you have your defrost and your fan speeds down below, USB-C, USB-A. Down below that, wireless charging pad. Come on in. Here's the nice gear shift to take you through with this nine-speed auto. Love that red RS badge right there on the back of the gear shift with the leather and the stitching looking good. We do have some gloss black plastic here, though. And we do have two cup holders and our Chevy, Chevy key fob looking really good. Lock, unlock, remote start, pop the tailgate, panic button, Chevy bow tie on the back. Looks good. And then here we go. We have our parking sensors on off, lane keep assist on off. And then here is our drive modes, which I'll show you when we go through the dash. Nice center armrest with the stitching as well. Open it up. Nice area for storage, 12 volt a USB-C, and a USB-A. Chevy steering wheel, nice leather-wrapped steering wheel with the red stitching, really like it, and your chrome accents to really lift up the wheel, blacked-out Chevy bow tie on the horn button, flat black on the switch gear, heated steering wheel is right here, then we have our cruise control settings here, and on the right, telephone voice commands, and then you, from here, you can control the 8-inch digital portion of your dash, Looking good, no paddles. On the stalks, you have your adaptive high beams and, of course, turn signals. On the right, your front and rear wiper. Down on the left here, you have your headlight controls, right and dim the dash. Parking brake. This is a manual tilting wheel. 
Does it telescope? Yes, it does. So we have a manual tilting and telescoping steering wheel. So I like that. And then we come into our dash and we have that digital uh, analog combo. So you have your analog gauges for your speedometer, tachometer, excuse me, not your speedometer, analog gauges for your tachometer, for your oil temp, for your battery uh, voltage, for your uh, engine temp, and your fuel level. So they have some digital action going on there. And then you can also go through additional information that you may want to see and just select that to go up on the screen. And then you can go back out and get to some other stuff that you may want to see here on the screen, like your phone, your settings. So it's a nice, easy action to bring up additional information if you'd like to see it. And then with our drive modes, we can go to our normal to high. You can switch over to normal all-wheel drive. Then another on switch on the dial. We can go to sport. Another click over. And we're off-road. Another click over. And we are on trailer. Of course, you can tow up to 5,000 pounds in this Blazer. So uh, it's a nice... Nice one. It just takes a while to click through everything, which I'm not a huge fan of, but it is what it is. Rear view mirror, you can use it as a regular rear view mirror, or with this button underneath here, you pull it forward, and magic time, digital rear view mirror. Nice touch here in this blazer. All right, overhead console, you got a spot for your sunglasses right there. Garage door opener. If you want the LED lighting to come on and off when you open and close the door, this button here, which is a picture of the car with the door open, remains off. So when you open the door, lighting will come on, close the door, your lighting will dim out. SOS button in case you have an emergency on the road. OnStar right here. And then your controls for your panoramic roof. So on the right, you can open the shade. You hit it. One touch operation. And on back she goes all the way across the rear seat passengers. And then you can hit the left switch. That's going to tilt it. And then if you pull it back towards the back of the car or towards you, then the roof will open. And then you can go ahead and give it a, another push and it will close up. And then one touch on the shade. And here she comes on the way back. No halfway stopping. It comes all the way through, which I like and closes up nicely. Sun visor with vanity and lighting. And does it slide? Yes, it does to block out the side side. Driver door panel. The reason why I'm showing you this is that we don't have memory seats and we don't have power folding mirrors. And I think in this RS, RS trim, we should have a couple of memory seats and power folding mirrors. Let me know what you guys think. And also down below here on the lower part of the door panel, Here's the dial where you can turn off your automatic tailgate or you can set it to three quarter open or set it to max open. Back seat time in the Blazer. I have the seat set for my driving position, so we'll hop on in. Nice flat roof, so no need to duck. And we're in. Feels good here in the back. Plenty of room for my knees and my head and my shoulders at five foot eleven. No plastic on the back, all the way down. Very, very nice material with a seat pocket behind the driver and the front passenger. And then here in the back, we have two heat and air vents, USB-C, USB-A, and a home power source, and some more storage down below. So they got you covered here in this blazer. Back door panel. Well, we have hard black plastic all the way on top and around the door handle. We do not have that gloss black trim back there, nor the soft touch on the back door panel. Would have liked to seen them use the same materials as the front, but the armrest is nice and soft still with the stitching. So you can't have everything, but a little cost cutting on the door panel by Chevy back here. Seats, same material, nice and soft with the red insert and the nice headrests, nice and comfortable. And then we have our very, very hard, just like the other blazer we did. Center armrest with two cup holders. But back here, it's 
quite comfortable sitting in the back of this Blazer RS. And I feel pretty good with that heat and air blazing on me right now because it is a brutally hot day, about 95 degrees out right now. All right, tailgate time. Pop it from the key fob, pop it from the dash, or you can come to the back, hit the button right underneath here. Nice electric assist up. Nice electric assist down using this button right here. Here we are in the back with this nice Chevrolet all-weather mat underneath here. You have your jack and spare, so thank you, Chevy, for that. Some extra storage right here. We have a 12-volt right in there, even though it's not marked. LED lighting as well. Now, with the rear seats up, you're talking about 30.5 cubic feet of cargo space. And if you want to take the seats down, we got levers right here in the back tailgate area. Just pull them, boom, down it goes. Pull the one on the right, boom, down it goes. And now, with all the seats down, you got 64.2 cubic feet of space for those larger items. So a really good use of space here in the back of this two-row blazer. All right, here is the Chevy window sticker. We'll zoom on in, give you all the action. Feel free to pause it, zoom in if you want to spend more time on any one section. Let's take her out for a spin. All right, we are rocking and a rolling in 95 degree heat in this 2023 Chevy Blazer RS. All wheel drive. Wow, I really like this. And I can tell you, you got great visibility out the front windshield, side glass, side view mirror, rear glass, digital rear view mirror, working like a charm. Blind spot monitoring, cross traffic alert, lane keep assist, all that safety suite of technology in this Blazer as it should be. But what I really love is that the RS trim, we all know, is an appearance trim. But not only did Chevy bring some appearance touches with the RS, which I think look great, they brought the bigger engine because in your standard Blazer, the 2-liter Turbo 4 is the standard engine. If you go 2LT, all you can get is the Turbo 4. If you go 3LT, it comes standard Turbo 4, but you can option in this V6. But when you go RS, you get the 3.6 naturally aspirated V6 standard. So when we looked at that Blazer at 1LT or 2, I think it was 2LT, last uh, time we did a Blazer, it had the Turbo 4 in it. This thing, it makes the car drive completely different. Totally transforms the drive, this naturally aspirated 3.6 V6. 308 on the horsepower, plenty of power, plenty of torque for the size of this vehicle, being pretty much a compact two-row SUV. And if you want to go one step up from RS, you can go Premier. And again, with Premier, you can then go ahead and option in the 2-liter or the V6, depending on what you want. But I love the fact that the V6 is the engine for the RS. So not only do you get the sporty look, but you get more performance, which I'm always looking for when I get into an RS Chevy. So Chevy, thumbs up. Great job on this RS Blazer. The only two things I noticed that I really don't have in here, I don't have ventilated seats up front, I don't have a head-up display, and there's no heated seats in the back row. Now, I know they got to leave room for extra stuff like that in the Premier trip, so I'm not going to hammer it there, but I would like to see in my RS, because if I want the sporty trim and I'm paying 52 G's for this, I would like to see at least some ventilated seats up front. You can save the heated seats or heated and ventilated seats for the back seat for the Premier. Um, frankly, I personally don't care about a head-up display, but I know some people do like a head-up display. Um, but this thing is outfitted beautifully with this nice black seating material. And funny thing is, it doesn't say on the window sticker if this is leather or whether this is like a soft tex. Usually if it's leather, it says. So I'm going to, because it said it was a leather trim wheel. So I'm going to say this is probably like a soft tex rather than a leather, but it looks just like leather and it feels great. And the seats are really comfortable. 
drives really, really well, handles really, really well. Really roomy in here. I feel so much more room inside this vehicle than I do, let's say, my Ford Explorer, which feels a little bit more narrow. This one feels wider and more roomy, which I really, really like. Now we're going to come down the road here a little while, and we're going to do an emergency stop in three, two, and one. Wow, look at that. Throws out the anchors, stays in a straight line, and now we're going to hit it. And look at that nice linear torque delivery out of this naturally aspirated V6 engine. Nine-speed automatic, smooth as glass going through the gears. No paddles with the RS. Maybe somebody wants paddles, but you can shift manually using the gear shift if you would like by hitting in the manual mode. And then the plus and minus for the shift is a button on the side of the gear shift rather than actually moving the gear shift. So you can do the manual mode action on this Blazer RS if you would like. But geez, the suspension is really well damped. Handling, nice weight to the handling. A lot of these SUVs, it's really light and vague. This one has a nice weight to it. It's not too heavy, but it's got a nice weight to the steering to make you feel like you're in something a little bit more special. But now we're going to turn this up to sport mode and see how it does. But first things first, we're going to do a turning radius test in three, two, one. Nobody's coming. We're cranked all the way over. Whoa, it's a bit wide. All right, we got, it's a big SUV. It's a bit wide on the turning radius. Not surprising, but there you have it. You need a wide road and you gotta be on the shoulder to get this around without making a K turn. But let's hit it. Let's get it, baby. Beautiful, smooth as glass. Love this power plane. Love this power plane. If you're going Blazer, in my book, you got to go with the 3.6 liter V6. Yeah, the gas mileage isn't great, but you can use regular. You know, and you don't have that noisy Turbo 4 rattling off when you step on it to get around somebody. You know, you get that nice, smooth pull out of the V6. So I really like that. So thank you, Chevy for bringing some more power and performance to this RS. We are in sport mode. It is gonna roll a little bit in the turns, but it is a larger SUV, but it really pulls well. I really like this vehicle. I don't know if you can tell, but I really like this vehicle. So if I'm going Blazer, I'm going RS, because I'm gonna get the V6. Because you know what, if you go RS in another Chevy, maybe like, like an Equinox, you're not getting more power. But when you go RS in the Blazer, you're getting more power, more torque. Sport mode, which is stiffens up the steering a bit as well. Shortens up the shifts of the transmission a bit. So really, really well done. Really, really well built here by Chevy. So good job. Thumbs up. But let me know what you guys think about this Chevy Blazer RS. Are you into this kind of action with the Blazer? Do you like what they've done with the RS trim and the V6 engine? Or are you, are you saying to yourself, ah, it looks okay, but I'm going somewhere else with my midsize, or excuse me, compact SUV dollars. This is maybe compact plus. I'm going somewhere else. If you are, let me know where you're going. Or if you're into the Blazer, would you choose this one or would you go down in trims to get something less expensive for fifth because 52k is all the money on a blazer so let me know what you guys think but i want to thank sioka chevrolet of princeton for allowing the channel access to this gorgeous gorgeous 2023 chevy blazer rs all-wheel drive for review today i'd like to thank all of you for watching if you enjoyed this video please consider giving it a like Please also consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you'll never miss another Shabby's Rides video. And I'll see all of you on the rebound. Take care, everyone.